Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Back in Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. In today's video feature, I'm going to show you how I am actually recycling a washing machine drum as a compost bin. Now, one of the things I love about composting is that you could put in a lot of compost material in a bin, and as time goes by, it will decompose. What you should do is mix your compost with a nitrogen rich material, and then you also need carbon. So you can mix it up with vegetable peeling and then you could add things like newspaper, um, cardboard paper, stuff like that, brown leaves, green leaves, you have to mix it up so that your compost can decompose properly. Now one of the things I noticed with my compost bin previously, it was attracting mice or rats and that can happen. So what can you do, you might be asking in regards to protecting your compost from these pests because after all you would have to put your hand in there maybe with a gloves or if you were like me because before I used to just put my hand in the compost but for health reasons I would discourage that I would like to advise you please use a glove if you're gonna go ahead and dig into your compost bin <laughs> so what I decided to do we had an old washing machine and uh, you know I love to recycle and just before we threw it away I'm thinking myself what can I do with that washing machine and I discovered I could actually remove the drum so this is the drum of the washing machine. The good thing about this drum is that it's perfect. Number one, it can spin. Here you go. It can actually spin. So if it is that I think my compost need a bit of mixing, I just have to give it a fast spin, which I will show you. And also it have holes all in the drum have holes because after all it's a washing machine. So it was made or part of a drum of a washing machine. So it was made to let go water. So uh, that's what I love about it. I can actually hug my compost bin and I would not have to be like, oh my God, it's gonna touch my hand. Why? Because this drum actually have like double layer. So you have this outer portion and you've got the inner portion. So it's like two um, surface. So you have this one and then have another part on the inside. So I'm not actually as close to the compost as you would think. Now, another thing I'm using in regards to my compost bin is the cover of a fan, okay? So let me just put this on here. This one is a bit rusty, but this is the fan. I don't know if you can recognize it. It's the cover of a fan. Now, I've decided to use it as a top covering because mice or rats can't get through. Although, if you could find the finished one is better because there are some very tiny mice that would try their best to get through according to the size of the, um, or the spacing between the wire there. So, I would suggest that you get like the finished, the closest one as possible um, to protect your compost. Um, of course, I just put this on here to prevent the wind or anything from taking it out. Now, I'm just going to show you a close-up of my compost bin. And another thing I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show you an update on the pepper, which we pruned in January, and the pepper seeds, which I sold in the um, cake container, which I made into like a nice greenhouse. So, I'm just going to give you these two updates in this video, and including giving you a little review of my compost bin made from a washing machine bin. So, guys, please... Try, try your best to practice back in garden and also recycle it. Anything that you're about to throw before you throw it out, think what can I do with this or what can this be used for in my back in garden and it will come to mind. Okay, if you're a natural person who loves to recycle, an idea will just pop up so that you can recycle. So just gonna show you a close-up on this here. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. Okay, guys, so as I was explaining to you, this is my compost bin. I'm just going to show you what I would usually do. So this is right here, it's compost from the house, right? What we do, we have this container in the kitchen where we add in any compost material. It goes from um, paper to food peeling, anything that can go in the compost except eggshell, we will put in there. I have a separate bin or um, pail for the eggshell, allow me to show it to you. So guys, this is, these are the eggshells, this pail, as you can tell, it's like a gallon I believe. Yeah, so this pail right here is for eggshell. This is this are eggshell from um, January. So we've got a lot. What I used to do, guys, I used to put it in the compost bin, but I decided I'm just going to stop because I feel like it's having a negative effect on the earthworms because of the fact that the shell is sharp and it's not decomposing as fast as I expected. So what I most likely will do, I have to try to purchase an old blender. I had one before. Um, if you remember, I used to blend the food peeling, but because of Maria, the, the blender spoil. It's somewhere there. Um, but I'm assuming it's spoiled because of the way it was, but I've never tried it. I don't want to try it for the main switch to um, flip or anything. So I might buy an old, wash it, um, old blender on Craigslist, and then I'm going to basically blend this in water as fine as possible and then add it to my compost. So this is just what I'm collecting for now. So 
what we do we just collect this in the house usually every two days because my family love to eat very healthy we always try our best to eat like food um ground food um which are called provision fig plantain um vegetables so we always have this is filled within two to three days every day so we have this and then we point i would point on my mom and my granny would point in there as you can see even i'm not sure if you if yeah, cube cheese this is like a cube cheese box even that we shred and add to the compost we add old paper so this is like old calendar right here <laughs> an old calendar we shred it out and add it to the compost yeah so this is just how my family do it anything we can we add to the compost that will decompose okay guys so what i usually do also now that i've added all my compost material in here um allow me to give you a closer view of this compost material so as you can see the compost bin is pretty filled um but i want you to see the difference so as these are fresh compost usually the only disadvantage of this compost bin is that i can't really turn it over but it's not a problem because most of my compost i don't actually allow it to decompose fully whenever i have a plant that needs compost i just take it from there with my glove and put it to the plant so i don't allow it to really decompose all the way down but mainly because my family eat a lot of healthy food um so we always filling up the bin um but allow me to just show you the difference this here is fresher compost and as you can see right here it's getting brown huh? if i go deeper it has more so it's breaking down but we hardly allow it to really break down i take it out quite a lot or i change it up quite a lot so guys this is actually my compost mixing stick so to speak so i would usually take this i can't really turn it over because usually if you want to turn your compost over you have to have a good bit of space to take the shovel or your fork or then you just take it in there flip it and it's usually a square bin but again i'm recycling the drum of a washing machine okay so i'm just mixing it up a bit i don't really call it turning it over i'm just mixing it up Would you call this mixing it up? <laughs> I'm not quite sure I will call it mixing it up or this mixing, but it's, I don't really consider that. Okay, now that I've done that, what I would do, <laughs> a little magic trick here with this sort of bin because it's a washing machine, I would do something like that. You know, just flip it. And if you notice too, it's sending out bugs. I'm not quite sure if you can notice but they are bugs let's see if you can see them see this not sure if you can but these are bugs so by spinning it it sends out the bugs and then the lizards can come here and get them in are you seeing it it's like small itty bitty cockroaches Isn't that so cool? <laughs> now imagine I had like a, a machine on this. Vroom, 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 vroom. Anyway, so this is my compost bin guys. I hope that this encourages you to go out there, find a washing machine and turn it into a compost bin. <coughs> what I will also try to do, I will try my best to find another um, washing machine and show you the entire process of breaking it. It's very easy though. However, it's more primitive. It's like a primitive method. I don't use like a saw or anything like that. I just literally take a cutlass or stone and just break the machine till I get access to this. <laughs> it was a bit scary. Oh, here's a, here's a cockroach. Yeah, it attracts a bit of pests, but these are not the harmful ones like the rats or rodents with their um, leptospirosis and all of the diseases that come from them. So this is my compost bin. Hope that you guys are encouraged. And then just cover it up. Oh, I want to show you guys how low it got. It it got actually quite low. So as you can see here, it's a bit lower. Now that I've got it spinned up and mixed up. Oh, did you just see that? Cockroach just flew from there. Okay, guys. So what I want to do, as you can see here, this here is the moisture or the water from the compost bin. Usually, I add water to it, and then it will let out some flow here. Now this here is very healthy as far as I'm concerned. So what I'm going to do, the peppers which I planted in the container, which I'll feature in another video, I'm going to, when they grow out, I'm going to transplant them right here. So I'm going to start from here to come here, 
maybe I have two plants. I don't know at the back, it's not all that moist. At the back is kind of dry. Oh, I could maybe do it all around. So what I'm gonna do is plant peppers around my compost bin so that they will get a lot of nutrients and we'll see how this is gonna work out. I think it can work out for good. Only thing, if I decide to plant, you know, seedlings or plants around this bin, I may not be able to spin it as I just did. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure yet, but that is just an idea I have for the runoff nutrients right there so that I could plant some plants right there so they could benefit from that. Okay guys, just want to give you an update on the pepper. It's doing pretty well. This is the original pepper which I pruned by itself right here. I remove all of the leaves if you remembered at the beginning of the month and look at how wet it is into February and it's so nice and green. So if you see that your pepper plant is really struggling, prune it guys. And this is the other one I pruned when the moon was going down. And already, watch all that peppers. I'm not quite sure, but this is a pepper. All these are peppers right here. So it's doing pretty well. Here is filled with peppers. Can you see it? It's not red, so you may not be able to see it well. But these are peppers. All of these are peppers. All here, watch at this. Look at this. So you see your pepper plant can do pretty well. The moon is able to affect how well your pepper does. So I just want to encourage you. Of course we've got some weed in here. Unnecessary weed. Oh, also I'm really feeding it compost material with my peppers. I don't often time allow my compost to become compost and then give it to the peppers. I just go ahead and fill it up right here so they'll get food directly as it's breaking down. So you don't necessarily have to allow your compost bean to mature you can practice putting compost around the plants itself okay so that when you wet the plant they run off water with the nutrients to go directly to the plant so i want to encourage you guys please try your best to practice composting and back it garden of course and the container garden can work as you can see got it in a container right here and it is doing pretty well nice and green very very beautifully done so now allow me to show you the success or the progress of the peppers which I plant, pepper seeds which I planted in the container. So these are my peppers. They're doing pretty well. I've got two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten seedlings. So as they're maturing, I will allow them to grow and grow. Um, and then I'll transplant them when the moon is going down. The next full moon, that's when I'm possibly going to transplant them, I'm hoping. If not, it'll be full moon in March, okay? So possibly that is when I'll transplant them next to the compost bin and in case you guys are wondering I do have the cover still it still exists I just have them covered so that they could go out faster so here it is they, they are still short enough to stay under this covering as you can see they are not really touching the covers yet so when possible I will leave it and then when it's have to touch the cover I will remove it so it could mature and of course the foam in there is doing pretty well I don't want to take it out but here it is the foam is doing pretty well retaining moisture. I really do not have to wear this often, not at all. So it's doing pretty well, still light and awesome. But clearly you can see, watch this, until this observe something. Can you see the split in the soil? Watch right here. So there's a split, so basically watch what happens. Can you see where the soil is splitting? So basically that's some soil connected to the foams. So you see in here where it splits again? So all there it split and here. As you can see right, right here. So what happens is that the seedlings, their roots are focusing on this area. So they are holding the soil. The roots are basically holding the soil. So this was one of the issues explained to you. I did not want to happen. Why I did not allow a foam to be right in the center. So you, you're seeing this. The roots are holding the soil together around the area. This is actually a good way to show you the importance of planting um, on your land. Why you should not leave your land there. Can you see this? Earthquake, earthquake, those who cut all the trees down, their land is shaking, those who have trees around their property, it's well held. So you see the importance of planting on your land, guys. Okay, <laughs> so guys, I would like to thank you so very much for sticking around on I'll go see back again. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Please press the bell next to the word subscribe so that when I upload a video, you'll be notified about it. I'll also try my best to premiere the video presentation so that I will be live and you can ask questions as the video is playing guys so please try your best on Sundays um 
to stick around or have your notification on so that when I upload a video and it's going to premiere you can get a notification okay thank you so very much for subscribing to Agro Street Backyard Garden remember guys a backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away and Agris Wade is out <laughs>